Now, we will find out how to communicate with other devices, such as drives, via Modbus RTU. Let's assume XGL CH2B module at slot number 5 of base number 0 is used. We set the station number for PLC and drive as 0 and 3, respectively. In this communication, PLC operates as master, while drive does as slave to transmit a reply message to the PLC request. The basic parameter settings in PLC drive communication are as follows. Modbus RTU protocol. Data bit 8. Stop bit 1. Parity bit none. Communication speed 9600 BPS. You can write read data to from drive via communication. Here we will control drive changing reference frequency and operation command. If you write MW10 of XGI to 0x0005 of drive, reference frequency of drive is updated by MW10 data. And if you send MW11 of XGI to 0x0006 of drive, MW11 data will be used as run command. RS-485 wiring between PLC and drive is as follows. Connect TRX plus of PLC to S plus of drive. TRX minus of PLC to S minus of drive and SG of PLC to CM of drive, respectively. For the communication parameter of drive, please refer to the table below. Next, let me explain the inverter settings that work as slave. Now, drive settings. You are supposed to set up drive to communicate with PLC. The basic communication parameters are similar to those of CNET. The basic settings to control the reference frequency and run command of the drive are as follows. Run command, DRV, 3. Reference frequency, FRQ. 7. Also, you could change communication protocol I-59, station number I-60, bode rate I-61, assigned to I group I-59, I-60, I-61. Communication protocol I-59, 0 as Modbus RTU. Inverter number I-60, 3 as drive station number. Load rate, I-61, 3 as 9,600 BPS. Here comes PLC communication setup, standard and P2P setting of CNET. You could find I-O module information on I-O parameter in XG5000 project window. Double-click CNET module at slot number 5 and base number 0 in I.O. module and do standard settings of CNET module with basic and advanced tab. CNET module has two channels and here we are going to use channel 2. Select RS-485 in type, 9600 in bode rate, enable in terminating resistors and put 0 in station number in connection settings of basic settings. Here PLC is located at the terminal, which we are supposed to enable the terminal resistor. Select Use P2P of channel 2, as it works as Modbus RTU client. Choose 8 in data bits, 1 in stop bit, none in parity in connection settings of advanced. Then click OK to complete the standard settings of CNET module. For P2P setting, right-click on the CNET module under Network Configuration in Project Window and select Add Item, P2P Communication, which pops up Select P2P Window where you can choose unused P2P from 01 to 08. After adding P2P, you will find P2P Channel 
P2P block and user frame definition in a row. Click P2P channel and you will find channel setting window where you could select Modbus RTU client in P2P driver. P2P block setting is required after P2P channel setup. P2P block is a group of indices and each is a communication message. As PLC sends one write request to the drive, we are going to edit one index. Select 2 in channel of index 0. Modbus RTU client appears automatically in drive setting field as we set Modbus RTU client in P2P driver of channel setting. We will select write in P2P function as PLC sends a write request to the drive. Conditional flag is very important. When this flag bit turns on, its index will be transmitted to the dedicated server. Once again, CNET communication module sends the index when the conditional flag bit status changes from 0 to 1. In this example, we will put MX0 in conditional flag. And the index 0 message will be sent when MX0 bit turns on in PLC program. Counter, communication flag, or bit shift commands are generally used as a conditional flag. And you could choose a system flag for a conditional flag as well. FX147 device in XGI is used for the one second basis clock. For example, if FX147 bit one second flag device in XGI is applied as the conditional flag, its communication message will be transmitted at every second. As mentioned before, you could use system flags to trigger communication, but always on bit device FX153 in XGI is not a proper conditional flag as it is always on bit and does not change from 0 to 1. In this example, we will apply FX147 one second clock flag to send a communication message with one second period to write two word data. Select continuous in command type, word in data type, and enter two in data size and three in destination station number as the drive station. Then click setting for communication address. A write request is to read the data from PLC memory and to save them in the drive memory. Read area is PLC memory and save area is the drive memory. And enter MW10 in read area. As we do word write, the default target area to save data is 0x40000 in Modbus address system. In this example, we key in 0x40004 to write two word data to 0x0005 and 0x0006 of the drive memory. Modbus address starts with 0x1, discrete input contacts. 0x0, discrete output coils. 0x3, analog input registers. And 0x4, analog output holding registers. Modbus communication is bit read, bit write, word read, and word write. The function code Modbus command determines if the command will be read or write, and what type of register will be used. Now getting back to save area, you will find 0x40000. The first two digits, 0x, indicate that the Modbus address is hexadecimal. And the next four means analog output holding register followed by actual four-digit address of the device. Let's find out the drive address for reference frequency and run command. 
right single or multiple command is assigned to 0x40000 area and Modbus address on 0x40000 is allocated to drive 0x0000. Modbus addresses are encoded using 16 bits with a number between 0 and 65535, which are zero-based addresses. Therefore, the Modbus protocol address is equal to the holding register offset minus one. When communicating with LS drive, Modbus address is set to minus one. We will enter 0x40004 in save area to access the reference frequency. After completing P2P setting, we will make a program to see how to write the data to the drive. The following program is to move data for reference frequency and run command to MW10 and MW11 assigned to the address of the drive communication when MX0 bit turns on. PLC address MW10 is assigned to 0x40004 of reference frequency and MW11 is to 0x40005 of run command. After completing the PLC program, download it to the PLC. Select Online, Write. Make sure Network Parameter Basic Settings and P2P EIP is selected. After downloading, CNET communication module is to be reset to update the parameters. To apply the updated communication module setting, you are supposed to click Reset PLC or Reset Individual Module. Reset Individual Module will reset the selected communication module when PLC runs. Next step is to enable P2P communication. Select Online, Communication Module Setting and Diagnosis, Enable Link Services, and tick off the P2P number to enable. Now, XGT Client Setting is completed. Now let's monitor the communication status. When you change the value of MW10 reference frequency and MW11 run command in PLC, the drive will work with the changed data. If you put 1234 in MW10, then the reference frequency of the drive will change and entering 2 in MW11, meaning the second bit of MW11 is on, the drive will run in the forward direction. For the reverse direction, we need to put 4 in MW11 as the third bit of MW11 turns on. We can monitor communication messages between PLC and drive in System Diagnosis. Select Online, Communication Module Settings and Diagnosis, System Diagnosis, and we can find PLC modules. Right-click CNET module on slot number 5 and base number 0, then select Frame Monitor. Now data communication is done through channel 2. Select Monitor Channel 2, then Start which will show you the actual communication frames to and from channel 2. And we can find Modbus RTU protocol frames of channel 2. Here's a brief explanation on Modbus RTU write request frame in hexadecimal. The first 03 is the drive station number. The next 10 is function code 16, write multiple command. 0004 is the Modbus address for reference frequency. 
For more information, please refer to the Drive User's Manual. In case of a communication error, we will see the detail from an error code. The response frame format when an error occurs begins with an 80 followed by the station number and an error code. We can monitor the communication status selecting Status by Service in System Diagnosis. Here, we can find the actual communication and error count in P2P Service tab. This is the end of CNET communication. Thank you for watching.